Uh, I started setting eight years ago with the first uh, national mood setting course. And then I completed the national um, pet in 2020 uh, with the national mood setting level course. And yes, then I started setting Italian cups and international cups. Mm. Ooh, karate. Mm, si, Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and um, I remember when we met on Saturday, you were really nervous. It was your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you tell me again why you were so nervous? Because it was my first workup, and I felt like it wasn't uh, enough uh, to uh, made it at the, to the end of the of the week. Um, and I was really nervous because when you think that you are setting a boulder that a lot of people are going to to watch it, and the best athletes are going to climb that boulder, it's it's strange. It's uh, it makes you really proud, but also really nervous. Which boulder did you start with, and how did you go about? Like, how did you approach it? Like, you were nervous on day number one, and you immediately had to set an important boulder, right? Yeah, I set the uh, the powerful boulder from the women final, the second one, the red one. But it was really cool because Matthias asked us to start with the comfort zone, and they really like to set a powerful boulder. So I had fun in the end because it was something that I really like to set. Talking about styles, like four bowlers try to cover like as many different styles as possible. Do you have any other like outstanding bowler or bowler you like out of the women's final? Ah, uh, yeah, I really like for the for the final in general. I I'm not really good at the coordinative moves, so maybe sometimes I don't really like those kind of bowlers. Mm -hmm. But I think that as a root setter, you have to try everything and try to set everything. But for sure, you will be faster on setting something that you really like. Mm -hmm. But no, in the end, uh, I was really satisfied about all the women round, semi and final. Any, any advice what uh, other women should do or work on like or what makes it what can make it easier to get into competition setting or into setting in general yeah. mm, just don't be scared about trying everything because I realized that uh, in this situation I didn't try a lot uh, of men's boulder and at the end of the week I realized that it was my error error. Mm, because it's always better to try also men's boulder even if they are too much just to grow sensibilities and uh, know how, the, how to set a, man, a boulder for men because you realize how far you have to put the holes and something like this. For me this time was just about preserving my energies to be able to climb until the end on the women's round. But normally in Italy, for, for example, I try to try as much as possible, also the men's boulder, 
but I felt like that for a World Cup was too much. <laughs> but in the end, yes, yeah, it's too much, but it's basically too much for the body. <laughs> they are the strongest in the world. So, yes, the, the only advice is to not be shy to try everything and to uh, make your voice to be heard. Because if you are sure about something that you said and you're sure that it works, why not? Climbing is about suffering for a small reward. Just two seconds of happiness and then you suffer. <laughs> <laughs>